Yeah, hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two combo boxes where you'll get the teacher's ID in one combo box. When you select that teacher ID, only those students that are belonging to that particular class will be listed in combo two. And when you select an item from combo two, that student gets populated into the form. So I'll just give you a demo of this. So these are the teachers in the school. If I select 200. In this combo box, all the students of that particular teacher is displayed. Uh, if you want, you can hide this 200. I just put it there just to test and verify whether the correct records are uploading. And then if I select Jenny, for example, Jenny's information would be displayed in the form. This is obviously useful if you have a large volume of data and you want to find out students which belong to a particular teacher or you want to identify a student. So you select the teacher first, then you select the student and you will be given the set of details required. So very interesting uh, option that you can introduce into your forms. Makes it look nice and uh, complex. So let's get started. So first thing I'm going to go and create a form using form wizard. I select the teacher, the students table with some fields. Nationality and let me select a grade. Yes, you want to see the grade of the student. Next. Columnar layout is pretty okay. Title would you want to give you a form? I'll just put a name called as temp. For my reference, you can choose whatever name you wish to have. I just select temp so that I can identify this form and later on I can delete it if I don't require. So here's a form. Just moving the fields down so that I have space for those two combo boxes. Make it black. This is just the designing part which makes it look good. So you have the field names here. Here the contents will be displayed. Yeah, that looks good. Now I'm going to create. I'll go to design actually and select the combo boxes which we are going to place. Select one combo box. You'll be prompted with three options. I want the combo box to get the values from another table or query. I'll select next. I select the teachers table because I want unique numbers there. And I'll just select teachers ID next. Next. It shows you this is how it's going to be displayed. That's what I want. Next. Next. Finish it. Label I can just say select teacher. There's a capital E there which can be fixed and I say finish. So there I have the select teacher combo box. I'll select another combo box because I need two of them. Go to design, select the combo box again. Now I want this combo box to have an impact on the form content. So I need to select a table. So I'm selecting find record on my form based on the value I select in my combo box. So they are basically connected together. I will select uh, student ID, first name and teacher ID. That should be enough. If you want, you could have added the last name if you want, but I'll just leave it. So that's how it is. Later on, if you want, you can remove the teacher ID, but for demonstration purpose, this would be ideal. Label, I'll say, select student, and I finish. Little bit of coding has to be done, but let's see how the form looks like. So here I'm getting the numbers, unique numbers, which is fine. Here I'm getting all the students because there are there is no filter applied. So that also fine. Everything looks good to me. 
going to design. Select the first com box. Go to properties. First thing is always change the name and give it meaningful names that can be used in your code. So I'll just call it as CBO teacher ID if you want. And I go to the second one, I say CBO student, no space. That's fine. Now I go to this control. I go to event after update code builder and now I'm saying me refers to the current form dot the combo box of the student needs to be refreshed every time dot requery so you're telling the computer that when the first combo box that is the teacher ID is selected depending on what is selected go and refresh the other combo box so that it can reflect the selection made. In the second query box, in sorry, in the second combo box, I go to data now. The row, row source has already been selected. I click here and in the teacher ID, I need to specify what has to be displayed. So for that, I will type in forms exclamation. We named the form as student temp. That's why I had selected it easy to identify. Exclamation and whatever is there in the teacher combo box. That becomes a criteria for the teacher in the other. Let's have a look now. Okay. I'm selecting 200. And here you can see all the 200s are appearing. I'm selecting 300 and you can see all the 300 appearing. I'll select mat and I get the information of mat. Right click, design, I'll select everything here. Go to home, make it left align so that it's organized. I'll go to design, just put a background for this so that it looks neat. Just select purple and I'll just send it back. Change this color to white. Again, all these changes are of personal preference. Just looking at it visually will give you some ideas of what you can do. And other than creating all these type of components, the creativity counts, helps you to make the form impressive. Going to properties, I want to put a border now here. Border color, border width is hairline. I'll make it two points. Border color, I want to select that purple. Let's see whether it works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, now I think it's a fabulous form. Again, let's check whether it works. We selected the teacher. There are four students there. I'm selecting John and I'm getting the details of John. I would suggest again, uh, pause the video wherever you want, follow the instructions, write the code that is required, use the table, put an appropriate uh, criteria for the query and you should have a nice form which allows you to search information based on the teacher and student selected.